hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i'm doing great if you're new my name is funken dolly i am a dubai based cameroonian youtuber and a new mom at that i recently had a gorgeous baby if you don't follow me on instagram you wouldn't have updates about me neither the baby because she has her own tiny little instagram page where i post updates about her i would make sure to put it somewhere on this video my instagram and hers as well i thought i'd film a video about my body after childbirth and how i really felt about it because i've been getting lots of questions prior to getting pregnant lots of people i was i was quite active on uh, instagram and probably snapchat i come across as somebody who is really really confident who is really really secure in her body so lots of people are very curious to know how i feel like postpartum like my postpartum body if i still love it if i also come across as this confident uh, person that they knew prior to getting pregnant well <laughs> to answer that question um some days I do I do take the time to really really look at my body. I won't lie. I've got a big mirror <laughs> in my house. So I've some days I really take the time when the baby is sleeping to take a look at my body and a lot of things come to my mind. Uh some days I feel insecure. Other days I'm like a beg. You just birth a big huge human being. Be proud of yourself you did that like you did that clap for yourself yeah but um to talk about my vulnerable days some parts of my body uh, i'm like huh when do i get to snap back because <laughs> i'm not liking this <laughs> the first part i'll talk about uh my underarms um i'm married to like my best friend we joke about everything we don't have limits as to what as to what we talk about so sometimes he teases me as well he's like ah your underarms like are you, what is wrong this pregnancy what did your underarms do <laughs> uh yeah so my underarms are i'm dealing with hyperpigmentation they are quite dark i never used to struggle with that underarms prior to that i could literally take pictures on instagram like me doing this but right now i can't lie you will not catch your girl on instagram doing this with her underarms Yes, that's the part I'm insecure about just after giving birth. Another part which I'm going to show you guys, especially because you guys are really are really wondering how my tummy looks like. I wouldn't it doesn't look as bad as the first one week. Currently, while filming this video, it, it's exactly three weeks post -partum. I would say it doesn't look as bad. Lots of people have been complimenting me like, oh my god, your stomach has gone. I'm like, gone where? The stomach is very present. And I'm like, no, like for real, your stomach has gone. And I'm not making any effort. I'm not using any belts, any, um, what are they called? Corsets, all of those things. I don't even like corsets per se. Yeah, I'm not using any waist trainers, none of those for now. Because I had a C-section birth, if you are unaware of that. But the one thing that I'm really not finding funny about my tummy is not so much the size, it's the... My tummy is very dark, like very, very dark. I don't know, like darker than my entire skin. I don't know why. Um, what I remember is they gave me some injections on my tummy. Like, I don't even want to get into the amount of injections and needles that were pierced into my body during birth during my birth and even after that but at some point after i gave birth i remember they gave me a couple of shots on my tummy i didn't know i could endure that kind of pain but yeah so i don't know if it is those injections that cause my tummy to go like really dark like really really dark but my tummy is quite dark and i'm wondering like hello will it ever come back to you know the complexion i had Prior to getting pregnant every other part looks okay i would say my neck is okay but for now it's just my tummy so right now i've spoken about my underarms my tummy my feet don't look as bad as um pre as um as while i was pregnant i would say that the feet have gone i don't know if they've gone back to normal but they don't look that bad anymore so yeah so talking about my body i don't feel insecure honestly because i live in i, I wear comfy clothes because of the c-section pain 
yeah so i wear mostly comfy clothes i don't wear like the tight stuff crop tops are not my lane right now there's no summer body happening for this girl <laughs> summer 2020 let's hope for that yeah so i'll go ahead i'll show you guys my tummy i am not dealing with stretch marks because lots of people um have stretch some people don't even have stretch marks during pregnancy but after pregnancy from nowhere boom stretch marks i call them warrior my my warrior boot marks i have a few though like but just on my hip bone like on the side i have maybe one or two but on my tummy i don't have any stretch marks i didn't have during the pregnancy and after the pregnancy i don't have any stretch marks it's just the dark tummy which i'm going to show you guys the last um body part that uh, I had scary stories about which I'm still waiting to experience that the boobies you know prior to getting pregnant your boobies are firm they are wrapping you can go with um, your outfits without no bra I can say I can still wear an outfit without a bra right now but I had scary stories you know but I yeah is maybe because I gave her to a girl she doesn't latch on like as much as a boy I yeah with the boys your boobies go empty and then you know they they fall I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I've been told. So far, my boobies are still out. They are not as firm as before, but they're still pretty okay. That's what I would say. I'm still waiting to see. Maybe she's not even up to a month. So maybe by the time she's five months or so, the story would have changed. But I'm not quite insecure about my boobies. They don't bother me. The two things that bother me right now are the color of my tummy and the color of my underarms. Besides that, everything else is good. Hair, they say postpartum, due to postpartum, you lose hair. I don't care so much about my hair because I'm going to be cutting it off um, anytime from now on. So I really care less about it. Yeah, so that doesn't bother me. Enough of the talk. Let me show you guys my tummy so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But for every pregnant woman watching this video, for every mom to be, for every expecting mom, for all the moms watching this video, own it. For crying out loud, lots of people wish they could be as blessed as you are. You are going to experience so much when you get to give birth. For all the moms, they already know what I'm talking about. Nothing compares to that joy when you have a baby. Yeah, so that's what I would say. Just own it. Forget about Instagram, the Instagram models, the Instagram baddies. Forget about them. Own it. Since I gave birth, I'm more vulnerable about what I post on social media. I'm as real as it could get. I post it as it is. I say it as it is. I may filter a little here and there for aesthetics, but I wouldn't alter my tummy to make it flat for the gram. Hell no. I'm owning it. I gave birth to my gorgeous daughter. When I look at this black tummy, I think about her and I'm good to go, okay? So that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye. This is what my stomach looks like if I suck it in. This is how far it can go. I can't go more than this. If not, if I'm breathing out, living life, enjoying life, this is what my tummy looks like. And this is how dark it is. I don't know if you guys can see like the difference. My hand and my tummy. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys.